Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you folks doing? Very good. So you guys are staying cool. Very good. So this is our time when we do our family Devo time. And um, before we tell you the story of Moses and Pharaoh, page 42, we're going to sing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. So if you are able, would you please stand up? The motions go like this, yeah? Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people, and then you guys are going to do the whip and nay nay. Let my people go, punch forward, and then wave. That's the whip and nay nay. All right, and thank you, Mr. Stan. A Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Baby, let my people go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're singing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, the burning bush told me just the other day I should come over here and stay. Pharaoh, get my people out of Pharaoh's hand and lead them all to the promised land. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're singing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all of God's people came to the Red Sea. Pharaoh's army coming after me. I raised my staff, stuck it in the sand. And all of God's people walked on dry land. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're singing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Pharaoh's army was coming to. What did you think that I did do? I raised my staff and cleared my throat. <coughs> and all of Pharaoh's army did the dead man's float. Oh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're singing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go free. Yeah, you guys ready for a challenge? Whisper. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're singing Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Louder. Well, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go free. Yeah, 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 last time. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Mr. Stan. All right, wait a sec. Here we go. I miss kids ministry. If you are wearing a hat, you may be seated. If you are wearing something earth tone, you may be seated. Oh, if you are wearing blue, you may be seated. If you're enjoying the heat, you may be seated. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, so we sing that song because it tells the story. We love, we love um, songs that tell us the full story, right? Um, so I'm going to read to you guys from this book called Tiny Truths, the Illustrated Bible. The incredible story of who God is, who you are, and who you were made to be. All right, I wish I could show you guys the artwork. It's really fun. But instead, today, we have a treat for you guys. Um, who knows what Foley artists are? Before we had all this digital stuff, there used to be one person that made all the sound effects for movies. Um, I love Garrison Keillor. Anybody? All right. Um, he tells us the news from Lake Wobegon on Saturdays at 6 and he just monologues the whole thing. He's like an English major. He talks about the Lutherans and the Presbyterians throwing like spit wads at each other out of Denny's. Um, and it's entertaining. And there's always a guy making all the sounds like, you know. Um, so today we have our very own Cole. And he's going to provide for us our sound effects as I read to you guys Moses and Pharaoh. Are you ready? If it helps you close your eyes, it's really fun. Start us off. Moses and Pharaoh. God's tribe kept getting bigger. Pharaoh the king. Ew. 
was worried it was getting too big. He wanted to keep them under control, so he made them slaves and forced them to work for him. Now, life was very different for God's people. They had been happy and free, but now they were tired, miserable, and trapped. Nothing changed for a long, long time. Then, in the middle of the sadness, the people remembered that they belonged to God. And he loved them and promised to stay with them. So they called out to him and asked and asked them to rescue them. Do you think God listened? God did listen. <laughs> now far away, there lived a man called Moses. He was part of God's family, but he was living in the middle of the wilderness, away from everyone else. One day, Moses was looking after his sheep. Bah, bah. When he saw something strange, it was a bush. It was on fire, but the bush wasn't burning up, huh? It just kept on burning. As he got nearer, Moses heard a voice speak to him. It was coming from the bush. Moses, said the voice. Yeah, said Moses. I am God of your family, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. My people have asked for my help. They wanted to escape from Egypt, and I am going to rescue them. I want you to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Thank you. Give it up for Cole. Very nice. If you close your eyes, you may open it. Come back. Come back. All right. Thank you, guys. At this moment, I'm going to invite Peter up. Um, give it up. Thanks, you guys.